In today's video, we are taking a look at some of the cards that are popping off in the TCG uh, or collectible space for Pokemon. And we're starting off with some old school cards, not something that usually comes up on the channel, but if you guys know me, vintage is kind of my, my weakness, my sweet spot. Um, and so it, it needs its due, it needs its due. And we're starting off with, this is just the base set, Unlimited Venusaur, uh, but interesting spike on this card. Up 15% in the past three months. It went from 95 at the low up to 111. So, and we have a lot of sales right there. Seven, seven sales. Um, in the past month, 14%. Um, we'll zoom out to the one-year chart. So, good growth over one year. 30% up. Uh, 86, 86 was the low. The previous high was 103. So, um, some good movement there. Um, last solds, we're seeing some high. I mean. 111, 166, 199, and then 110, 110. So um, potentially some higher prices here. We'll see uh, what happens. There's currently only nine listed on TCG player. So this might be a card to keep an eye on. Then we have the Mewtwo from base set unlimited. Um, we're seeing 24% up in the past three months. It was $30 and now it's up to 37 check the uh, on the one month it's 11% up in the past month alone we'll zoom out to the one year 25% uh, gain in the past year could have had the, the low on this card was $27 um, we took a look at last solds we're seeing higher than that 54 40 31 40 70 and 50 there's only 12 of these listed on TCG player right now so it'll we'll, be interesting to see what happens with this card uh, could pop off you know doesn't cost that much money just to buy out these last 12 copies uh, but look where they're at a hundred dollars so um, very interesting to see um, it's nice to see some base set cards doing some things um, for me I don't know let me let me guys um, ugh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about some of these base set cards that are getting some movement then we have the Hitmonchan kind of a similar story there's only 17 currently listed on TCG as of this recording and we got a 29% gain in the past three months. And that's from over here. If you count it from down here, that's a much bigger gain. $10 up to $15. Um, in the last month alone, 46% increase. 11 to 16. We'll zoom out to the one year. Big gains, 61%. This card was as low as around 10 bucks at its lows. And a big shoot up. And like I said, only 17 copies uh, currently available. Last sold, we're seeing 16 31 and 30 are the last solds on the Hitmonchan. So we have another card from uh, Base Set Unlimited, the Polyrath. 20, about almost 27% up in the past three months and 12% in the past month alone. You're going to see a similar trend here. Only 18 cards currently listed on TCG Player. And on the one year, it's it's up, but it's not at its one year high. Its one year high was $23. It's at 22 um, Its low point was $16 on the Polyrath, super cool card. Um, kind of an underrated hollow, I feel like, from base set. Then we have uh, definitely an underrated hollow from base set, the Clefairy. 12, tw not as big of gains, 12.5% um, over the past three months, but it looks pretty steady. Um, and then 4% in the past month alone, and we'll zoom out to the one year, and really solid growth, 42% up in the past year. $17. It ran up to 22, came back down to 18, and now it's up to 24. Uh, like, it's only 20 currently listed uh, on TCG Player with last solds at 35, 25, 23, and 23. So that's going to do it for the base set unlimited cards. So we're going to take a look at some more modern cards that have been popping off uh, right now. Then we have the Mew from Paldean Fates. Now, this card has just been absolutely taking off. It's surpassed the uh, the Charizard from this set as the most valuable card. 68% increase in the past three months. It's, look at this, it's just going straight up. Um, in the last month alone, 44% gains. Um, the, you could have had this card for 75 in the past three months. So that was the low. We'll zoom out to the one year. And uh, this is, you gotta understand that these prices right here are like at release or pre-release pre-release or at release and this is pretty typical that they run up really high so 133 and we are 133 and we're at 135 
So we are at a one-year high, surpassing those pre-release numbers, which is kind of crazy. It went as low as 74, 75, same thing like right here. So these are the two low points down here. Um, 73 copies currently available, so more than some of those base set cards that we were seeing. Uh, if we look at last solds, though, there's two at two at 75, but then we have 135, 141, 135, 134, 150. So potentially this card could see another run up, um, depending. Uh, something that you guys got to uh, know and understand is for any of these cards, from the base sets to this Mew, a lot of times uh, when they we see huge spikes um, like this, a lot of sellers will come and see that and be like, oh, I need to get in on that, and they'll list um, their cards, and then they'll undercut, right? So potentially we could see that. Um, but with the way things are going, just in the market, it seems like we're seeing, we're entering like a pretty heavy bull market. So uh, we'll see. We'll see where things end up and what's going on. Um, the Gloom from Obsidian Flames is continuing to run. We talked about this video before, but it's up almost 70%. In the past three months, that's wild. Uh, it's low as you could have had this for 394, and now it's going for 720. In the last month, 55% gain. We'll zoom out to the one year and look at that almost 100% gains uh, from back here at 355. You could have had this 227 was the low, so that is some massive gains 227 to seven dollars. But we'll take a look at the last solds. Last solds kind of look like it might be coming down a little. Off that $7 mark, we're seeing six, so just below seven, five, five, six. So um, the gloom probably coming off this 709, and it looks like it's more like $6, which would retrace it a little bit, but it would still be uh, at some good gains. Uh, under, underrated card from uh, an underrated set, in my opinion. Uh, now we're going to get into some 151. Uh, I'm going to try and talk about some 151 cards that we haven't really focused on. We've, there's been a lot of 151 uh, recently, but the Tangela, um, all, all these 151 cards are just taking off, so um, even the, the lesser cards are. So we have a 14% gain in the past three months. This was as low as 556, and it went as high as 840, but it looks like it's coming down now. Um, there's a lot of these cards available, 287 on the market. Most recent sale at $4.76. Uh, 7% up on the past month, and it's actually down on the one-year chart. The low in the one-year was 466. The high was what we just saw, and unfortunately, last sold we're seeing 476, six dollars, uh, seven six six. So I mean, we'll see. Looks like maybe this 476 is an anomaly. I don't know what this 295 is. Um, so we'll see, but it kind of looks like the tangle might be coming down. Uh, then we have the Nitto King. Showing 25% growth over the past three months. It was as low as $7, and it went as high as about $10. Um, 15% gain on the past month alone, and it's not at a one-year high. It's one-year high was $10 with last solds at just under eight, just under nine, eight ninety, eight forty, and ten bucks. And I don't know what the, if this three seventy. I think that's a Japanese copy. Um, so, so it's, it's had a decent run recently, right? Um, then the Zapdos, which is one of my favorite cards from the set, if not if not my favorite, I don't know. Um, I really really love this card. But uh, can we saw this card? We touched on this card recently, but it's continuing to shoot up. Twenty three percent in the past three months, and thirty two percent in the past month alone. Uh, at a one year high, it is at its one year high. It cracked fifty dollars. Uh, last solds fifty forty seven. 61 50 51 so that seems about right in that $50 range Zapdos is an absolutely stunning card um, it's nice to see we're gonna take a look over at the overall 151 and you can kind of see where the cards are ranked and I'm liking where the, the Zapdos is um, actually there's 79 listed on TCG player so that's interesting the Venusaur still low only 42 copies um, but up 71% in the past three months which is wild good to see that card getting some gains 53% in the past month Zoom out to the one year, uh, just coming off of that spike right here, off of its one year high. Last solds we're seeing 70, 74, 86, 72, 84, 84, 84 on the Venusaur. Um, this video wasn't really supposed to be about 151, but it kind of has to be a little bit just because uh, things are taking off. So these are the top cards, right? We got Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur, as it should be. 
But the Zapdos finally took the fourth spot. The Zapdos was like down here for a while, like in the second row. So Zapdos at 51, Charmander's at 45, um, the regular Full Art EX, Zard's at 41, Alakazam's at 37, Squirtle's at 35, 34, like some of these prices are starting to get up there. But um, I think there's there's a few cards that I would like to see make some more room, and we'll we'll, we'll talk about that. But we'll just talk about one here real quick um it's the alakazam and it is moving 12 percent up um right 37 bucks 77 copies on tcg but what i would like to see oh it is not going to let me go back oh there we go so i would like to see um this card move up a little i would like to see it pass the uh the charizard here maybe um be behind the zapdos in my opinion i do like the artwork on it um yeah, it's a cool Pokemon and cool art. Um, but that is kind of uh, it for this video. Those are the cards that are moving. It was really nice. Um, let me know if you guys like like these type of videos. Um, I try and do it about every so often. Um, TCG Player releases the cards that are moving, and then I kind of try and pick some other ones out um, to touch on. But let me know if you guys like seeing some base set unlimited stuff um in here i think it was really it was really nice to see um 151 heavy obviously um we got the good news of more 151 packs coming in february that will people hopefully will be able to pick up at msrp maybe below msrp uh which is really needed right now um for those trying to complete their master sets people want to just rip packs um that's great news if you want to see that that's in yesterday's video um but that is going to do it for this one guys thank you so much for watching I'll catch you in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.